you sick lion. I, how, how do you hide it? How do you do it? How does Jackson not know how twisted you are? How did Edmund hide the fact that he could walk? That wheelchair must have been such a nuisance. Shut your mouth. What is it, Maria? What, what's the matter here? You can't believe that the man you betrayed finally lied to you for a change? Uh, you know, I could smack that smug look right off your face. Well, I'd like to see you try. Did Jackson know? About Edmund walking? No, about you and Zach. How you threw yourself at him in Vegas and you wanted to sleep with him so badly. You've really lost your mind. And if uh, Zach just isn't into liquored up has been, so he rejected you and that threw you completely over the edge. You know very well that never happened. Really? Just like none of the filth you spew about me ever happened, but reality has never stopped you before. Gee, I don't know, Maria. It seemed pretty real to me when I caught you and Zach in that clinch in the graveyard. One moment you saw a second of time, Erica, something that was not even any of your business. But it was Edmund's business. No, Edmund loved me. I loved Edmund. I stood by him. No, you listen to me. There was no infidelity. There never was infidelity. You were just freaked out because we managed to do something that you couldn't manage with God knows how many husbands that you've had, and that made you nuts. So you had to poison my marriage, and you had to poison it even now that he's in a coffin. What kind of pathetic woman are you? Are you a pathetic? You believe Ethan when he says that his father murdered your husband. You just buy it. You know why? Because you just take it for granted that a man would kill to have you. It's your ego, Maria, that's pathetic. That's what's pathetic. Zach did kill Edmund. Ethan would say anything to stick it to mean daddy. And you? You just buy it. Why is that, Maria? Do you have some sort of bond with Ethan? Is there some sort of connection between you and Ethan that we just don't know about? I mean, I know that you've already had brothers. So now have you moved on to fathers and sons? Huh. Looks like I got here just in time. What are you doing here, Brooke? I mean, forgive me, but I can only accommodate one of Edmund's widows at a time. Erica, how is it that you love the sound of your voice so much, yet you never hear anything you say? Oh, she hears every word. She loves the sound of every twisted little word. Oh, did you hear, Brooke? Ethan is a liar. Zach didn't murder my husband. And, oh, and Edmund's a liar, too. He lied to me. He lied to all of us, basically, because he could walk. Did you know that? Evidently, he could walk. Um, he just decided that he would stay in the chair and he would do the physical therapy and he would have the ramps and the frustration and all of that because, um, oh, I'm sorry, Erica, I forget. Why was it again? Oh, right. To hurt me, because I deserve that and so much more. Very good, Maria. You got all of that right. You heard every word I said. So maybe you're not such a loser after all. You're Zach's lapdog now, Erica? <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's very annoying, but it's funny. Mm-hmm. Well, Zach started that sick rumor for the same sick reason he went after Edmund. And Maria checked it out, and Edmund's physical therapist said there was no real progress in his recovery. I so. can't believe you're still trying to, after all these years, reason with the demented Lacane. And Ethan was in the stables, so why would he lie about what he saw? You know what, Brooke? I really don't have time to go into this with you. So I'm just going to cut to the chase. Zach is in jail. He may stay there forever. That is Ethan's motivation, a long, slow revenge on the father who rejected him. Forget Ethan. Edmund would not lie about walking. Not to, not to you, Brooke? Maybe to his wife, Maria, but not to oh you. My God, you know, I want to drop kick you to Philly. Maria, explain something to me. How is it after all these years you still hate me, but Brooke, the woman who knew you were alive but didn't tell your husband, Edmund, how is it that Brooke is your trusted confidant? A man died, and all you can do is torture his wife. Torture? Please forgive me for speaking the truth about a dead man. Maria, you pushed Edmund over the edge with your constant betrayals. That is Edmund's why. As for Ethan, he's a cambius. He will trample over anyone to get whatever it is he wants. 
I tried to do you a favor. I tried to warn you of all the ugly facts that are out there. Because the sooner you deal with them, the sooner maybe you could find some sort of peace. I mean as much as you can after all you've done. <laughs> you are hate and spite with an expensive haircut. Yeah, that's right, Brooke. Go ahead and coddle Maria. Coddle Maria, and maybe it'll make up for the fact that you married her husband. <laughs> There's a special place in hell waiting for you. Come on, Maria. Did you, you saw it happen? This man was killed. Did you see it happen? But you said he didn't do it. He didn't do it? Is that what you mean, honey? Maria! Leave Lily alone. You have your own children to traumatize. Where do you get off? What? I said Ryan's going to be fine. What Wait. do it? He didn't do Stop it? Stop it. Don't you know we've been frantic? We have been looking and phoning all over town for Lily. How could you be so thoughtless as to lure her back to this horrible place and, and then barrage her with questions? Erica, my idea. I wanted to come here. And it's all right, Lily, really. I mean, just let me have a moment alone with Dr. Gray. Look, you cheated on your husband. You cheated on Edmund. Zach killed him, and now you are choking on your own guilt. But no, Maria, you will not manipulate Jack's daughter just to, to clear your, your lover or your conscience. I am so amazed at how little you care for the truth, Eric. But Eric. You just leave Lily alone. I think you know, you ducked on the radar on us once again. So what was one just place, huh? Might be the damn path of us all. How sorry we are for your loss. I don't know what's wrong with you, but Lily can hear on her own, obviously troubled, because said that she saw the murder. The newspaper article was completely wrong. It was nothing but a lie. Aiden and I both spoke to Lily, and she said, I'm friends that could pay their respects. I'm going to very lovely engagement in a beautiful note saying how much she loved Edmund. But because I don't really expect any actual comfort from you, what I do expect from you is to show yourself off the property. Goodbye to Ed Friday, I could say anyhow. Have a love you. Oh, Maria, somehow you hold up. I will love you at the funeral. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, if you're the willing to think that Edmund was killed, when the sad is there. So we can always pray for her. I'll tell you about Oval. You take Lily. Because I swear to you, if any harm comes to her, it's in your head. Maria's grief isn't my problem. I doubt it's fair. Because of me. Thanks to your motor mouth to the tableau of horror. You didn't have any parts of me that you spilled. The same thing with Valerian and Nita and Merch. You know, I don't believe it. You're not denying it. So I must be right. Opal, how could you? I was relying on your discretion. I was at the Glen. I was given the Glen. I was up to the reporter. Well, I want you to call that reporter back right now and you tell her that you had your facts wrong and you demand a retraction. I don't see what the harm is here. You don't understand what dear Lily is if people think that she witnessed a murder. But Ethan Camby saw it too. And Zach Slater is in jail, so Lily isn't in any danger. You don't get to decide that. Well, excuse me for trying to do my civic duty. Oh, brother, you just can't help yourself, can you? You just can't help yourself. You you make the wrong choice, and then you just spend time defending that horrific choice, just like Jamie and Ted just sweep their crimes right aside. Now, you just hold on a little red-hot minute there, Missy. You, how many times have I stood by you through thick and thin when you made one doozy after another? Now you expect me to turn on my family just because they got suckered by those Gary days? You know, I don't really care what you do, but you just do not mess with my family ever again. <laughs>